Pathology of Atherosclerosis Atherosclerosis is a condition in which fatty material is deposited along the walls of arteries. This fatty material thickens, hardens and tends to block the arteries. This leads to a reduction in blood supply to the tissues which the artery supplies. More than half the number of human deaths are caused by atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a slow, complex disease which starts in childhood beginning with damage to the innermost layer of the artery. This layer is called the endothelium. The damage to the arterial wall may be because of elevated levels of cholesterol and triglyceride, high blood pressure, tobacco smoke and diabetes. Because of the damage to the endothelium, fats, cholesterol, platelets, cellular waste products, calcium and other substances are deposited in the artery wall. This thickens the endothelium. The artery's diameter shrinks and blood flow decreases, reducing the oxygen supply. Although any artery may be affected, the major targets are the aorta, coronary and cerebral arteries. Atherosclerosis of the coronary arteries in the heart leads to ischemic heart disease characterized by chest pain on exertion. Atherosclerosis of the aorta causes poor blood supply to the intestine and limbs. Poor circulation to the legs can lead to pain while walking or exercising, deficient wound healing and leg ulcers. If the atherosclerosis is severe, it may cause aortic aneurysms or abnormal dilations which may sometimes rupture to produce massive internal bleeding. However, this condition is most severe when the plaque thickens and hardens. This may lead to the plaque to rupture and blood clots to form at the site. The blood clots may break off and travel to another part of the body where they may lodge in a small vessel and suddenly block it. If it blocks a blood vessel that feeds the heart, it causes a heart attack. In the brain, this causes a stroke. And if this occurs in the arms or legs, it can lead to gangrene.